Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter! Boom, 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 review stuff. And I need to take my shoes off. I am exhausted. I have been shopping all day today. Okay, now I have to tell you. Oh, I almost spilled that out. I am not somebody that goes shopping on a regular basis. I talk about this on my vlog a lot. Um, but I actually do budget money out, so I'll set out like so much aside to go shopping or just to buy things I want to buy, which ends up usually being like a champion sweatshirt from Meyer or a candle or something like that, you know? But I set this money aside. Well, the money has kind of been like accumulating over time because I just haven't been using it. Um, and so it was sitting in there and I took some of it out and I put it into savings and the rest of it I was like you know what I'm gonna go shopping like I'm gonna go buy some things I want I haven't done this in quite some time so I went today Peter needed to be stopped okay I, I, I needed to be stopped because I went to Saks I went to Sephora I went to Macy's and I went to Target and I wanted to go to other places but I was like enough I actually went to Macy's twice and I have some in-store footage for you that I'm gonna show you in just a second that I showed you an area that is very, very cool. Um, but before I do, let me get a, uh, hold on a second, let me get a, uh, a thumbnail here of all of my purchases for the day. Are you ready? This is like, okay, you ready? Okay, so there are all of my purchases for the day. And I just thought I'd get on here and show you guys this. People seem to like hauls. I enjoy doing hauls. I like to talk about the stuff I get in case anybody else didn't know about it or they wanted to go get it. Um, so yeah, I want to show you some things. I have some things I bought the other day. Um, first, I want to tell you, okay, I went into Saks today. And one of my, my favorite cologne of life is Creed Aventus. And you can see I am completely out of it right now. There's like, I don't even know if there's a spray left in this bottle. Let's just see. No, not really. <laughs> Come on, give it to me, give it to me. There's like no spray, well it might help if I had the, there's no spray left on this. Oh, I just lost the applicator thing, hold on. Ah! It might help if I have that on there. It doesn't really matter, there's none left. So I went in, now I don't remember the last time I bought this. I think it was like last fall, so I made this almost last a year because it's very expensive. So I went into Saks, so, oh god, I love it so much. Everywhere I go when I wear this, people literally stop me, and they're like, what do you have on? That smells so good. Um, and so I got some Creed Aventus, but they didn't have it in the store. They were out of it, so they had to uh, mail it to me. And then the, I wanted to try Lilabo. Have you heard of Lilabo? Okay, so they, the, supposedly they will make, a butterfly just like flew by and just distracted me. It was so pretty. Supposedly, it was like this brown, like really like monarch butterfly. It was very cool. Anyway, supposedly they will make your own perfume or cologne for you. You get to like mix the scents and things, but then they have like several that are already made. We went to the store in Dallas. I don't remember what this store was called, but it was right across from our hotel. It was really, really cool. And it was like, they had all this different kind of unique stuff that you can't just like go and just get at any kind of store, right? And so they have the Labo, uh, it's L-E, like La Labo. Um, I think it's like laboratory maybe, I don't know. Uh, cologne and perfume. And my friend, if you watch my vlogs, my friend that passed away from breast cancer, she passed away I think in November. She had the coolest sense of style. She wore like a Canadian goose camouflage coat that was like pink inside and she wore a Lilabo. And I asked her one time, I said, oh my God, you smell so good. She goes, I made it myself in this Chicago store and all this kind of stuff. So when we were in Dallas, I smelled it and there was one that I liked. I liked the patchouli, but then there was one that was called Lang, it's Lang Lang, like Y-L-A-N-G. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Like Lang Lang. And it was like fantastic. And it's a unisex uh, scent. So I bought that as well from Saks. So those were like my two kind of like gifts to myself. So I got that. And then um, those are both coming in the mail because they didn't have any of those in the store. They don't have a Lilabo in our Saks here. So then I went up into Sephora, but she did make me, where is it at? She did, oh my God, if I lost it, I'm gonna be so mad. She made me a little sample. So if you go in there, they'll make you little samples. <laughs> I'm like, this is probably like a $60 sample. Anyway, so then I went to uh, Sephora and I got uh, some Chanel Blue because I'm out of Chanel Blue and that's kind of like my daily cologne that I wear. Now I will tell you with this, I don't go to this. I don't go to the Chanel section at uh, at Saks anymore because they will sell you up on the river and they will tell you, listen, they'll say, oh, you have to have this and you have to have that, okay? They tried to sell, oh, they did sell me on that Chanel lip balm. And she was like, there's so many minerals and oils. It's basically chapstick. Don't waste your money. Okay, the tube is cool looking, but it, other than that, it's junk. 
So anyway, but she told me to get the parf perfume instead of the Eau de Toilette because she said it'll last so much longer. And it's like $30 or $40 more and there's absolutely no difference. So don't don't get the perfume, just get the Eau de Toilette. And that's what I got this time. It was 130 for five fluid ounces. And that's what I got. Oh, and then I got, uh, now, I got Too Faced Cosmetics Hangover 3-in-1. It's like a setting, a spray and, pat, and primer. But I use this in the morning with eye gel and it like kind of like brings my face alive. I'm not a big supporter of Too Faced Cosmetics. I just, they, if you watch my drama channel, they've been in and do a lot of drama. But this is like the one product of theirs that I really, really like. And it, since it was my birthday last month, I also got to pick something out. And I picked this. Janeiro, Rio, like it's Rio de Janeiro, and it's these different creams, and I, I just show these in my vlog. They come in these little containers. I want to buy more of these because they smell fantastic. They come in these little containers, one blue and one yellow, and the yellow one is called Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, and it smells so good. It smells like, um, like tanning lotion, like, uh, but the other one smells more like coconut. So this one smells more like tanning oil. You know what I mean? It smells so good. And then this one is Coco Cabana Cream. And this, yeah, this smells straight up like, like, you know, like coconut and shampoo and all that kind of stuff. And I love that. I love all that. So that's what I got at Sephora. Very, very excited about that. I love my Sephora. They're so nice in there. All right. My friend uh, Evan that works at Sephora, he was not there today. They were like, he's going to be really upset that he didn't get to see you when he came here today. I was like, well, tell him I said hi. So hi, Evan. Okay. The next thing um, I want to show is, what is all this? Okay. The next thing I want to show, I think, is where did I go next? Well, I went to Macy's the first time. Let me pick my first Macy's bag, and I'll, I'll go in order of how I went to the store. Okay, so I have some things I have to go to this weekend, okay? So I need a pair of shorts and I need a pair of jeans. Well, I didn't end up getting any shorts, so I'm just going to wear jeans. But I wanted to pick, buy a pair of jeans. Now, I have gained quite a bit of weight since the COVID. I've gained like 25 pounds, so I don't fit um, in my jeans anymore. So... But I am like trying to lose weight, so I also don't want to buy all new clothes in a different size. I, I, whenever I do that, and then I lose 20 or 30 pounds, and then that stuff just is, like goes to waste. I wish I had saved it, trust. Okay, I threw that stuff out. But I got this pair of Levi's, and they're real cute, and they're stretchy, and then they have like the knees out on them, and I'm going to wear them with my Golden Goose shoes that I got this weekend, if I wear these jeans. So I got these jeans. Now, Macy's is having incredible sales right now, you guys. These jeans, where's the price tag? We're marked down. Where is the price tag? I got them for $19. I know that. But I don't see the price. Oh, here they are. They were $69.50 and they were 71% off and I got them uh, for $19.93. Can you believe that? That is crazy. So I got those. And then I am obsessed with this French ski brand. I think it's Marmont, but I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. But they had this hoodie in there and it was $50 and it was 50% off and I got it for... Um, $25. So I got this for the fall. I'm starting to buy like some fall clothes and I got it in an extra large because <laughs> we're hoping by then I've lost some weight. See? Okay. So that's that. I'm really excited about that. And, um, now I went to Macy's, I don't know. It was like a month or two ago and oh no, it must've been longer than that. It must've been before the COVID and they have these winter coats, these puffy winter coats and they were like 150 or $200 and I really, really wanted one because their winter coats are so cool. And I was like, oh, but they only had an extra large and I couldn't zip it up because I'm too big. But anyway, so I was like, well maybe for next year, but I didn't want to pay full price for it. So I was looking for a Marmont winter coat. Marmont? Marmont? Remember that for later, okay? I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comment section below how to pronounce that. So then I went, I went to Target. Now let me tell you why I wanted to go to Target, okay? I went in there the other day and I was looking for Limoncello, uh, what do you call it? Um, LaCroix. I'm obsessed with the Limoncello LaCroix. Alex's friend Sarah got me started on them. I did not find them at the Target in Fishers, Indiana, but I then went to a Target um, at Glendale and they had cases of them and I bought three cases. But when I was in that Target the other day, it was when my good Judy Tani and I went and she stayed in the car and I just ran in there to get these limoncello. I, they have a whole new men's section there, a whole new men's section, okay? I was blown away. I, Tani, I told her, I said, again in the car, I said, can you believe they have that men's section in there? And she goes, oh, you didn't know that? And I said, no, they have a whole, I'm not talking about men's clothing section. I'm talking about men's beard, shampoo, body wash, 
skincare products. They have a whole section. She goes, yeah, doesn't it look like Sephora for men? It is very, very cool. So I went in this store today here. I'm going to show you what I bought because I bought specifically some things I want to try from there and things I've wanted and a couple things I bought the other day. So I'm going to include those in there, but I want to show you what it looks like in the store. So here you go. whole section here of all men's stuff. I cannot believe they have the art of shaving in here. They have bevel, Pacino down here. It's a whole section of all men's stuff. Look at this. Duke Cannon. Harry's razors, which are like some of my favorite products in the whole world. I swear by them. And they have all of the men's razors, shaving cream, everything underneath here and then over here they have all these electric razors that you can buy down here all this very cool stuff and then over here they have deodorant and then this is the cool section look they have like little samples and stuff and they have these bags that you can get down here like loofahs and over here they have the goodfellow brand which is target's brand and then they have more beard stuff I think this is so cool that they have an entire section of all men's stuff at Target. Look at this. So cool. And then on the other side over here, they have all this stuff. This is so smart. These loofahs are so cool. So anyway, I just love this whole section. I just found out about it, and I'm very, very excited about it. Wasn't that so cool? So for all of us out there, you know, there's like new things for us to try, and then go in there, and it feels like, I don't know, like for like men, you can go in there and because you know, I always get so jealous of my good GDs and they go in there and they have all these like, you know, products that are deliberately or deliberately that are specific, deliberately <laughs> specifically made for women, you know, although you can try them. I mean, I try a lot of unisex items or women's items and I just call them unisex. And I'm like, whatever. But I also love like floral and citrus scents and things like that. But the thing is, it's like, it's kind of nice to have some products that are like specifically, you know, like directed towards men. Like, I think that's kind of cool, you know? So anyway, so go check that out. I want to show you the things that I bought, right? Um, so the other day when I was in there, I could not believe, and I think I showed this in the video, that they had the art of shaving. So the art of shaving is the shaving cream that I wear. Now I have to tell you online, I think it's $30. I have it listed in my, um, what do you call it? My Amazon store. But my favorite is sandalwood, and they had sandalwood in there for $24.99. So it was like $5 cheaper than what you buy it online at their store. So I bought it the other day. Okay, now let me show you. This lasts me like three months. This is what it looks like when you get it. And I'm sure you can, like, they have, like, lavender, lemon, whatever. Like, I've had friends of mine that, you know, shave their legs with these and things like that. So it's not like, you know, you have to use it just for your face. Um, and this is what it, ooh, this is interesting. Okay, so typically there's a cover that comes on top of it with a little spoon thing. That's interesting that that wasn't in there. So this is what it looks like when you open it. Let me turn down the ring light a little bit. Hold on. So you can see. So it's like that. Now, I don't want to do this, obviously, on here, but I did trim my beard today, and I did shave around it. Typically, what I do is I get my face wet. Is it out of focus? Come on, focus. I get my face wet, and then I take, like, uh, just a finger uh, amount of it, and I put it in my palm, and then I go this and go all over because you can see through it, and it's, like, silky smooth. It is such a great... It's my favorite shaving cream I've ever used in my entire life, and it's a little bit more expensive, but you're going to go through it slower anyway, and it lasts. So... They also have tubes that I get for traveling that are smaller. I think they're like 1.8 ounces. Um, or they're small enough that you can travel and take them on a carry-on. I know that. So I got that the other day. And then I got three of these face masks. But then today I got a fourth one. So I want to show them to you all at the same time. Hold on a second. Here they are. Okay. Yeah. So they have these face masks that are um, supposedly for men, but I'm sure women can use them too. And they're called Bandito. And Tucker, oh my Lord. No, this is not treats for you. Okay, get down, get down, buddy. Get down, go down. Thank you, buddy. Okay, so they're called Bandito and they have different ones. They have four different ones there and I think they're $3 a mask. Um, this one is called Pack Your Bags, and it's for eyes specifically. Now, I was talking to a friend of mine about this on the phone. She's like, why are face masks specifically for men? Well, these face masks go, they're like sheet masks that go around your beard. So, they're for people that have beard. Um, this one, see, like you can see this one has like the bottom of the, where it has a goatee on it. Help reduce appearance of wrinkles while hydrating your skin, leaving it feeling soft and looking fresh. So, this one's called Keep It Smooth. 
This one's called Chill a Minute or 30. It's a cream mask. And this one is called Pimped Out No More and it's a mud mask. So those are kind of cool that you can get, I thought. So I got those. And then I am obsessed with Harry's razors. Now, I, I called them something in another video. I talked about them. And I can't remember what I called them. I called them like Henry's, Henry's razors, I think. Tucker, these are not treats for you, buddy. He's like, what is for me? Nothing. Nothing is for you. I'm, Dad's doing a haul. So I bought these two. These are new colors that they have. This is the, um, this one is called... Uh, tennis green and this one's called tropical green. Can you see them? Let me turn this down a little bit here. Hold on a second. Okay, so this one's called tennis green and this one is called tropical green. Okay, get down. Get down. Go down. <laughs> it's like wanting to be up into all the business. So I'm gonna have to turn the things down so you guys can actually see the products. But these are my favorites and they come with a, two blades and a handle and like the handles last forever and they're like these plastic handles. They're very, very cool. Um, so I got these. I'm gonna let Alex have his pick of which one he wants. But we have every color now. We have like forest green and navy blue and bright blue and all, we have like I have black I think is one of them. So we have all of the different colors and I love these. And the razors last about two weeks and then you have to replace the razors. Um, and when I travel, they have like little travel things that you can take with them. Do they come in here like this? Um, I'll show you if they have them in here. Hold on a second. Just rip this open. Hold on. This is going to be a long video, by the way. Isn't it? This is a long, they're all like, what is in these bags, Dad? I do have like four dog boxes I have to review. So we're going to have to do those in the next couple of days. So when you open this, what you get is, let me show you this. And you can also use our online service and they'll mail you stuff in the mail. Um, so it says, hi there, back in 2013, we realized shaving could be easier, more affordable, and as you hope, you'll see here, more enjoyable. Your purchase is a lot bigger than it appears. We donate 1% one, one of all sales to charitable organizations that promote men's health care. Thank you, Jeff and Andy. I don't know who Jeff and Andy are, but when you get it, this is what it looks like. Oh. So you get the razor that already has the blade on it, and then you get another blade. And then this right here is so useful. It goes over the razor like this. You can't do it with it because it has the thing on it. But when you travel, do you see you can take that, and then you can take one um, extra in there as well. So it's real, real helpful. So that's what we got. Right, Tucker? Buddy, you are just not listening to, can you please get down? <laughs> he, these dogs have been running around and wrestling and you have been ain't misbehaving. I know that's for sure. Okay, can you get down, buddy? Get down, get down. Thank you, buddy. Okay, so the next thing I bought, I wanted to try a bunch of new different products. So I might come back on here and tell you what I think about them. But I tried this Goodfellow and Company Morning Eye Serum. Now this was $9.99. Um, Goodfellow is their brand. It's actually a t-shirt that I have on right now. He will not. He is misbehaving. He is behind me right now. So, oh, look at how small this is. So I wanted to try that. They had some other eye gel there. It was like $20, but I was like, I'm not paying $20 for an eye gel that I don't know about. And then I got Harry's Face Wash, which is the, um, and it smells really good. It's like peppermint, I think, uh, with peppermint. Yeah, it smells, oh, it smells really good. And I needed a new face wash anyway, so I got this because I love the razors. And then, this is really cool. I couldn't believe they had this Post Shave Mist with botomic, bot, botomical, botanical extracts, calms and refreshes. Look at this. So it's kind of like a setting spray for men. Isn't that so cool? Oh, it smells kind of like woodsy. Well, kind of like eucalyptus and woodsy. That is so nice. So like for all, you know, the men out there that want to have a setting spray too, and now we have one. I've just been using setting spray because I love this stuff. The Tatcha uh, is my favorite. Okay. And then the last thing that I got, okay, this was expensive. I don't know anything about this brand. I've never heard of it before, but it's called Ores and Alps, and it's like an all-natural brand. This was $20, you guys, okay? But I like, you know, I need something for my eyes in the morning. When you get older, you'll understand. So this is an under eye stick. They also had a face wash that was like, it looked like a deodorant stick, but it was like $20. And I was like, I'm not paying $40 for these things. So this is what it looks like. And then I don't know what you do with this. You must just put it underneath your eyes. Oh, it's like a rollerball. Okay. You just put this underneath your eye in the morning? Huh? What do you think, Tucker? He's like, yeah, Dad, I think so. I can't really tell if it's coming out or not. Look at him looking at me. He's so funny. This is what they do to me in the morning. Right, buddy, when I'm doing my morning evening ritual? My husband's evening ritual and morning ritual is even longer than mine. Can you imagine? Okay. 
So those are the things. Oh, nope, that's not everything I got, is it? He said, no, Dad, and where's the treat? The treats are in the kitchen, see? And this is not, this is not one of those videos. But I've been trying to tell you that, and you're not listening. Okay. <laughs> then the next thing I got was, this is so stupid, but I, it was on sale, and it was like, marked down it wasn't like on sale a lot and i do not love the swiss army brand but i just have to tell you because we travel so much we haven't traveled in a while obviously because we can't but this is so cool so this is like i used to call them a dop kit when i was growing up but i guess they're called cosmetic cases or whatever but this is like that swiss uh, gear it used to be swiss army but i guess it's swiss gear brand and this is so perfect because I can put my cologne, I can put everything in here. The one I have now just opens and then inside there's like a zipper on it. And I think outside there's a zipper on it. But look at this one. It's so perfect. It was $19.99. And it has all this stuff in here. And then it has like in here so I can put my contact stuff in here. Because I like to try to keep that stuff separate. Well, maybe I'll put my contact stuff on the outside. Isn't this perfect? That is so nice, isn't it? It's like a cosmetic bag. And this will go on a carry-on as well as... Um, it can also go like if you're packing your bag too. But I think this is like one of the nicest one. I love the sections. It has like an inside envelope, uh, like a pocket. It has a couple of them. Isn't that so perfect? So you've got different areas. Because I like to like down here put like my shaving lotion and my deodorant and you know all that kind of stuff. And then I like to put my cologne on top. I kind of like wrap it usually. And then like I'll put like, um, what do you call them? Um, what do you use? A, a Q-tip, you know? And then I always put band-aids in there because I always get blisters. If you watch my videos, you know I always wear shoes without socks, brand new ones, and I get blisters. And then I put my contacts in here and everything. So that fits perfectly. And like a razor. Isn't that so nice? I love that. So I got that. Tucker is going, he's in the bags and everything. And then I don't know why I got this, you guys, but I thought this would be so cute next to our bed. And because on my side, I have like my glasses and I have my phone I put over there and um, I have like my reading glasses and then I have my glasses glasses and I have my wooden watch that I wear. And so I thought this would be so perfect for every night. I could just put this underneath here and it's this. Well, I just took the thing off. Um, but it's called uh, Acacia Wood Valet Tray. These are the kind of things you buy your dad like on Father's Day and I can't believe that I'm old enough to admit that I actually want one of these. <laughs> this is where you put a pen or I don't know. I'm gonna put my, my reading glasses in here and then I'm gonna put my phone right here and my watch over here. And then I'm gonna put my other glasses up here and it'd be perfect. And that's all I'll have on there. Isn't that nice? And this was $19.99. I really like that. So yeah, I know that's kind of corny, but it's, it is what it is. We're corny, aren't we? Oh, and then I got a pair of jeans at Target. Did I get three pairs of jeans? I did. Oh well. I guess I could probably take one of these pairs of jeans back. I think I'm actually gonna take these back because these were like $50. Where is my Target receipt? Is this Target? Because I don't need three pairs of jeans. So, but I'll show you what I got anyway. I got Levi's and they're just like this 541 athletic taper stretch. But now that I got the pair, I got another pair of jeans that actually really do fit like how I want them to fit. So we will take those back. Where is my receipt? Oh shoot, did I throw my receipt out? I couldn't have possibly thrown my receipt out. Does it matter if I throw my receipt out? Probably, you're saying yeah. Well, it's in here somewhere. Cause this is, oh, was there a bag behind me? Oh, honey. <laughs> Oh, there it is. We got it. Okay. Let's put this in here. Excuse me, buddy. You are helping me today, aren't you? He said, I am so bored and I want to have a video about me. Okay. So we're going to take these back. So we'll put those over there. We don't need her. Okay. So now let's get into the Macy's bag. Oh my Lord. Look at all this stuff. Okay. Now, I've been trying to find jeans to wear to this thing this weekend, okay? So I actually found a perfect pair of jeans, and they're this, I'm gonna keep the Levi's, because they're kinda cool, I think, with the zipper, or the, the ripped jeans anyway, and then I have two pairs of jeans to wear this summer in case I have other things to go to. But I wanted to wear a pair of dark jeans tomorrow with a black t-shirt, and I could wear my Golden Goose shoes that I got in Dallas. What is on my shirt right here? So I'm probably just gonna wash this t-shirt and wear this tomorrow night. And I'm gonna wear it with these buffalo, they're like a dark navy blue, and it's like a pant jean, like a jean pant. And um, so I got these, and I'm gonna wear these tomorrow. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so these are actually mar marked down. They were marked down from 99 to like 59, which that's still expensive. That's why those jeans, they need to go back. So I got that for tomorrow night. And then I had gone back because I wanted another bathing suit. So their brand, their, uh, what is it called? The 
INC brand is really cute. And they have these striped bathing suits that have like a pink tie on it. Aren't those so cute? And they're a little shorter, like they, not short, short, but they come up a little bit higher on like the thigh, which I like for like laying out and stuff. So I got those. And then, okay, now they have a bunch of brands at um at macy's that like if you buy them when they're not on clearance they're super expensive and one of them and they're very much like the mountain climber kind of like off the grid but like if they had you know 10 million dollars sitting in the bank like that kind of thing and i love that kind of stuff you know like the patagonia and all that kind of stuff well one of the brands is called barber b-a-r-b-o-u-r -B and i got this flannel shirt isn't that so cute isn't that so cute for the fall? Oh my God, I love it. Okay, let me just tell you what this, I, I, I almost bought them. They literally at Macy's, they had these in blue, they had them in gray, they had them in like a dark red, they had them in a burgundy. They had them in different colors and like different kinds of prints. I almost bought like three of them, but I was like, I just can't. So anyway, this was 119 marked down to 39. <laughs> so I got that. Very excited about that, that's for the fall. And then I got this Barber sweater. I got this one 2XL because it seems still kind of small. And this was 135, my mark down to 39. This is what it looks like. And it's like a ski sweater with like the collar and everything like that. <sighs> Isn't that so cute? I'm so excited about that. Okay. So I got that. Look at how nicely I'm folding everything. Don't be jealous. Okay. And then the last thing, I'm so excited about this. Okay. Now, they did not have the Marmont coat that I wanted, okay? They did not. But I am, like, if you know, I've been wanting to get a new fleece coat for, like, the last year because I left my North Face fleece coat um, in L.A. the last time that I was there. So, I needed a new fleece coat. Well, I didn't this last year buy one. I just kept on saying I would, but I didn't buy one. I think I ended up buying one from Target and wearing it. But I found this little fleece coat. Now, she doesn't fit me just yet, okay? She's an extra large, and I'm probably a 2XL. But it doesn't matter because they only go up to XL. But is that not so pretty? Oh, my God! Is that not so pretty? Okay, can I just tell you, this was in the sale rack. I was so excited. I, like, literally went through everything to see if they had the coat. Now, the coat that I wanted, this is not it. Okay, let me tell you how much I got this off from. It probably, I didn't even really get that big of a deal. It was 170 and I got it uh, for $39.93. So I got some good deals today. Very, very excited about that. So this is gonna be one of my winter coats. And look, it has little pockets in here so I can keep all my secrets on my phone and things like that, oh my God! I can already see myself like going to my meetings in the fall, you know, my 12 step meetings. And I'll be wearing this coat and it'll be so fall and whimsy, I'm so excited. Okay, with this little sweater underneath, oh my God! Or look at this, I actually stood there and I was like, Seriously, and then come home like on a date with my husband. He'll be like, "You look so cute." Thank you. Anyway, so that's just with my, but of course, doing my hair because I didn't do my hair today. So that is my ginormous haul that I did today. And now Peter needs to stay out of the stores for the next three months. But it doesn't matter because I have stuff for the fall anyway. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, what do you think about all that? Put it in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.